Hey guys, how you doing? Good morning. This is Big John with J Custom Builds. Hey, listen, if you're new to my channel, I'd like to welcome you and uh, invite you to check out my videos. I've been building Harleys now for a couple of years. I haven't really done videos on everything, but I've done videos on a lot of stuff. So hopefully you'll find what you're looking for. I intend to continue to create more and more videos for you guys. I did have a few questions about things that I have done, but I didn't record a few years back. I will get to those eventually. And if you are an existing subscriber, I'd like to thank you for your support. It's greatly appreciated. And if you are customers who entered to win one of my beautiful Harleys, 2009 Ultra, 2010 Street Glide, I greatly appreciate your support. And I intend on getting this raffle completed as soon as possible. We have 93 slots left. Thank God things are moving. So if you guys are interested in winning a beautiful Harley, I invite you to enter by going to my website, jcustombuilds.com. Purchase yourself a hat or a t-shirt or both. There's no limit on how many you can buy. And that's your automatic entry into the giveaway. And not only are you entering to win a beautiful bike, but you are supporting a really good cause. I've decided to donate $15 from every sale to Tunnels to Towers, which is a great cause for disabled veterans, Gold Star veterans, and first responders. They're doing some great stuff over there. I encourage you to go to T2T dot org and check it out i am trying to figure out how to add their website to my website so you guys can actually check out the videos there it's very encouraging it's very motivating to me and i look forward to to supporting that great cause and um, i appreciate you guys so other than that father's day is coming up so i want to wish you guys a happy father's day in advance i hope you guys are all doing well getting that out of the way let's get started on this video i'm sure you guys are waiting for that So hey guys, what I'm doing right now is I'm adjusting the belt. And so you gotta take consideration when you uh, adjust the belt here and you pick a spot like here or the front of the bolt or the center of that bolt to the center of the axle. Cause the center of this bolt, there's an identical one on the other side of the swing arm. And if you measure the center here to the center there, you'll uh, actually get a a pretty good reading but don't just go off of that because you think you have the belt adjusted perfectly and then when you go to torque this that's going to actually tighten up the belt a little bit more too i don't know why but it does same thing on this side you just got to get to the center of this bolt right here whatever the center is i'm going to actually put a line on that i'm going to turn it and put a line right down the center of it Mark it with the Sharpie. And then of course, I'm gonna measure it from either the center of here or the beginning of there. And so the belt's a little, it doesn't feel too bad right now, but when I go to torque that bolt right there to 90 pounds, it's going to tighten up even more. So I don't want it to be that tight right now. So it's a little tight right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring it up maybe a quarter of a turn and that's actually pretty good right there. And then I'm going to measure from the head of that bolt to the center of that, which says it's like right at a 16th and a quarter, 16 inches and one quarter in the center. So when I do that to the other side, so when I bring this one, out a little bit all right it's not quite 16 and a quarter but this is just this is just the this is just the starting point that's about 16 and a quarter from the head of that 16 and a quarter right on the money so let's go see what the belt looks like. So the belt, people would say that that's a little too loose. You don't wanna be able to turn it all the way like that. But when I go to tighten up, so when I go to tighten up the axle nut, I'm gonna tighten it up 
and that one's starting to turn. I don't know if I'm going to be able to torque it because my shoulders aren't that strong. So let's just see where it's at right there. I had surgery on both shoulders. Adds a little bit. Actually, I think that's pretty good. I'm going to try that and see how that feels. That actually feels pretty good to me. So I'm going to leave it like that. Wait till my brother gets off of work. He's getting off early today. I'll have him hold one end down while I torque the other side, and it should be good. So I got 16 and a quarter on each side. Unfortunately, I don't have the measuring tool, the alignment tool for the rear wheel. But if you, you know, find two good even spots and you're able to do center to center on them and it's exactly in center to center 16th and a quarter on both sides that are identical, you're fine. So that's what I did. And I'm going to test start this girl here in a bit. So I got all the fluids in the bike, except the primary. I have not drained that yet because I wanna actually run it. So what I did was, since I had the plugs off and the wires off, I went ahead and primed the oil pump and got oil all up to the top until the oil light turned off. The battery was weak, so I tried and tried and tried and ended up having to charge the battery for a couple of days to get it strong enough to get the bike uh, going. I did not want to put the start on my battery charger because it's old and um, I don't know if it's cranking out the right voltage and I didn't want to burn the battery out or cause any problems with the motorcycle. So after a couple of days of uh, being on the, uh, on, the, uh, on the tender, it was able to crank over and get the oil up to the top. So I put the plugs in and the, connected the wires and, oh, I need to go grab the keys. Hold on one second. Let's go ahead and uh, start this girl really quick. Okay, guys, grab the keys. This girl's in neutral and it is low on fuel the a the brakes i have not bled the brakes yet so the uh, abs light is on so let's start this girl and see how she responds it's all a good sign i don't have the air filter on so i don't want to run it that that long Sounds great. That back wheel's really spinning though. Sounds really good. Man, she sounds amazing. She sounds really, really good. The exhaust is sealed nice. There's no oil leaks at all anywhere. I had to take all of these lines off because I believe I had a vapor lock. The oil was not going through, but man, everything's good to go now. The bracket for the set right saddlebag is okay. It just really needs to be powder coated again. Um, and the one for the left side is damaged pretty bad, so. You know, they're both messed up. They're both damaged because my brother-in-law was rear-ended. And so I think I should just order him some. I seen a set for $80 on eBay. And, you know, they're like 100. They don't, I don't even know if I can get them from the Harley dealership. Uh, I couldn't find them through the dealership. But if I am able to get them, they're probably going to be double that amount. And I need to get a new air filter. I tried to clean that one, and that one's just too far gone. So... There's just a few minor things that I need to do, tighten up. I'm gonna make a list and uh, I should have that list completed by tomorrow. If I can get a hold of that air filter, I'll go ahead and uh, ride it tomorrow. Uh, my brother-in-law wanted it to me to deliver it this weekend, but I ran into that little problem for a few days with the oil not wanting to come up. And uh, once I took the air filter i mean the once i took the oil filter out and put a little bit of oil in it man it worked and the battery was charged up so 
it just takes a little bit of uh, trying and trying until you get it right. But it's going now and I'm truly grateful. So I'm gonna get those parts ordered today and see if I can get them tomorrow so I can get this girl going, man. I'm dying to get it going. Everything's on. I mean, everything's uh, looking good so far. I just need to check off that. Uh, I need to do the checklist to make sure everything's complete. And then once I get the air filter on there, I will take this girl out for a ride. So I got the bars lined up exactly where I think my brother-in-law is going to want them. I'm going... Oh, Jesus. I'm going to, uh, put Loctite on these guys and, uh, start torquing them down. So I'm going to just use blue Loctite. Um, I think blue is, uh, sufficient. So I'm, what I'm doing is, I left this one tight. I removed this one, put Loctite. Now I'm gonna remove that one and uh, put some Loctite on it. So this one's pinched enough to where the bars are not gonna move. So you wanna watch the pinching on these guys. I try to get it pretty even. All right, I'm gonna actually go look and see how that looks. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So, I don't know how much that is, but I'm probably gonna end up torquing like maybe 20 pounds on them. Now I'm gonna do this one. That one's already loose. Oh no, I already loosened it, right? Take that off, put it in my pocket. Don't want any uh, accidents. Get this guy started. I'm watching to make sure that I get an even amount of uh, an even amount of pinch on both of them. So that's not going anywhere. So I'll take this one off now. I don't know why my wife. I call every anything to do with a bike or a Harley. I call it, I always refer to it as a she. I don't know why, that's just, that's just me. But my wife's like, why does everything have to be a she or a girl or whatever? And it's like, I don't know. When I refer to Harleys, I just refer to them as a she. So now I'm gonna throw a torque on there. Let's see here. I'm gonna do 15 first. I think I'm just gonna do 15. I'm gonna go up a little bit more. I'm gonna go to like 18 and see what happens. That's 18. I don't wanna, I don't wanna break anything. That one hit 18. I think I'm just, I'm gonna stay at 18. Yeah, there we go. I think I'm gonna stay there. I don't want to go more than that. Let me see how that feels. <sighs> I 
Man, that actually feels really good. That feels really good, guys. Clutch feels pretty good too. It feels a little tight. So the only thing I haven't done was the primary and that's because I want to run the bike and get it all nice and hot before I drain it. And, and then I'm gonna loosen it back up here because I want to adjust it down inside on the clutch, do that clutch adjustment in there. And then I want to come and adjust it up here. That's the best way to do it. And uh, so, yeah, so I got to do the brakes too. I have not bled the brakes yet, but um, I ordered the uh, air filter today and I ordered the saddlebag uh, bracket that holds the, the saddlebag because one of them was bent from the bike being rear-ended. And so, yeah, so we're looking pretty good, man. We're looking really, really good. I'm happy with the way everything turned out and uh, everything's looking pretty good. So, yeah. So kickstand's down and I will get on the primary first thing in the morning. <sighs> what time is it? I don't know, it's probably like 6.30 on Friday. And my wife went to run a couple of errands and then she was gonna pick up some dinner. So we'll, uh, we'll be getting together tonight and having dinner together and, and uh, that's about it guys so now that this bike is almost done let me go ahead and show you guys all the hand controls everything's in there like i said i'm gonna do the primary adjust the inside of the clutch the wheels in there brakes are done wheels are all done torque balanced i ordered the uh, air filter today um, i'm not sure when i'm gonna get it i might just run over to harley tomorrow and pick one up and just send that other one back but uh, I worked all on this, worked on all of this stuff today, got the seat back on it today. I just gotta install those. I'm just making sure the bike runs perfect before I actually put those on. And these I'm waiting for the, uh, for the actual saddlebag guard because it actually mounts here and then it mounts down there and I gotta, I can't really tighten this up until I get that bag mounted on there. But I got the, uh, the uh, belt guard back on there and i'm working on his clutch shifter the actual gear shifter because it seems to be a little bit loose and has a little bit of play on it Let's see if i can squeeze by here look at that and i don't i don't like that you know so i'm going to take all this apart and see if it's just the bushings that are in there and go from there. And I haven't, you know, connected or mounted the clutch cable there because I'm going to go back off of here and then go in there, warm it up, drain the fluid, adjust it and fill it back up. And then that's it. Belt's all adjusted. Everything's all adjusted back there. This baby looks really, really nice. Um, lights are fine. I just have to um, there's a little switch back here and I have to, let me see if I get the light to turn on. Hmm. No, because I don't have the key on me, but the lights actually look really, really good. I just have to rewire that switch that's in the back panel back there, but man, she looks really, really good. I just got to finish her up, take her for a ride and then, uh, wash her up and, uh, deliver her to my brother. I'm excited. I'm excited, guys. Hey, guys, I also wanted to mention my, I've still got my giveaway going on with the 2010 Street Glide and the 2009 Ultra Classic. If you guys know anybody that, that's interested in winning a beautiful bike, all you got to do is head over to my website, jcustombuilds.com. Buy yourself a hat, buy yourself a t-shirt. There's men's, women's. Purchase any item. The details are all on the website. You can learn more about it. And we are now supporting Tunnels to Towers for every item sold. We're sending $15 to Tunnels to Towers. And if you like these videos and any of my others, I invite you to please hit the subscribe button and hit that bell icon. That way you're notified anytime I drop a new video. My plan is to get this giveaway going, get both of these bikes given away. So if you know anybody that's interested in winning a Harley, please share this video with anybody you know. And if you're interested in supporting our troops and our disabled veterans, you can buy a hat or a t-shirt and $15 of that money is going to go to Tunnels to Towers to support them. And if you're interested in learning any more about my 
my giveaway or Tunnels to Towers, you can head over to my website and learn more about it there. Other than that, you guys have yourself a great weekend. Always remember to ride safe. Take care of everything you do and God bless.